Roger Mugfoss University, another fabulous new discovery by Science Today. And this guy I got in from a friend of mine, Theodora, and it seems that science sees light in a whole new light, which I do too. So let's look at what they have to say. Majorna, radially polarized, twisted photon. And they twist and they intertangle and you end up looking at this if you were looking head on. And I can't disagree with that because these are the Higgs fields, very similar to what they're talking about. And this is what we saw and uh, that and, and this. Now let's see what they have to say about electrons. I mean about uh, this new uh, polarized deal not now thank you okay now this is this was today or yesterday i guess city college of new york now they say that these twisted photons hailed as a pioneer by photonics media for its previous discovery supercontinuum and cr tunable laser city college new york director distinguished professor of science engineer robert r Alfano. I'm going to contact him. I, nobody's ever contacted me back, but I'll try it again. And his research team are claiming another breakthrough with a new superclass of photons, dubbed Majorna photons. They could lead to enhanced information on quantum level transition and imaging of the brain and its working. I don't know about that, but I do know that I can see these polarized wavelengths and wave fronts and spatial modes and coherence and uh, photons which are amazing and are all not the same I totally agree so that is something I guess we're gonna have to all look in together you know I guess they're claiming they discovered it now Rodney's been doing this and I have been doing this for oh, several years four or five years now um, nobody's taken any interest but we have um, we've had a lot of a lot of work on this and uh, it's pretty interesting anyway all right so once again I'm just gonna do it real quick anybody that understands like pulse red laser the little dots in the background are what I'm saying is the ether that is in the free floating atmosphere all these little white dots and all those little particles that are glowing down there if you can see those that's all a product of the ether being I'm sorry, I turned it off for a second. This is a product of all the ether being concussed because of the acceleration of the wave and the particle, which is the particle. The only wave that's here is because it's this owns a region around it. There's nothing out in that region other than the magnetic influence. The particle is here, and it owns an enormous region. Look up the 21 centimeter line, and you'll understand how how much of a huge region that particle influences. Now, it's coming through and it's collecting here, piling up on itself and manifesting itself as a particle, which it is. And then it comes through here as a plasma event through the venturi, two round cylinders, forcing it to constrict and accelerate. No possibility it can do anything else, and it is visually seen. So, as it comes out the other side, they're in chaos. They want these big regions. They don't have them anymore. They're too close to each other's neighbors. They pop away from each other. Coming out of the Venturi, it looks like this. They collide with each other, and then they start to reform. They're crossing over and doing all kinds of things. Now, over here, coming out of the, the Venturi at us, are those little tiny white filaments, which they call them the, the uh, bosons, which means that that's a particle, and it's a charged particle spinning out of there so fast that it cannot set up a field yet. It's too fast. And that particle is spinning as, as a high speed, they call it neutrino, electron neutrino. It's just a high speed electron or, or, or a photon. And when it smashes into the ether of space, it fluffs up a field around it because it forces all its little electrons that are around it to, 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 to circle it. And that's what happened there. And this is a, a reverse spinning particle that's come through the accelerator, same as all the rest of them, only it is white, which means that it's gathering its field. That's a left-hand spin. The others are spinning to the right. Now, that little one ended up impacting here. 
And Rodney's eye and I, as far as I know, the only two who ever saw this. And that little thing came out of there, and that's what that is. Um, I've talked about this in great detail. I just want to show this so that we can get past all this. And this is a spinning particle. That's what's called a drill tip. Uh, this is the particle spinning to the right. means it's drifting to the left. You can see it's expanded down here and it's constricting up here, which means it's slowing down. I mean, this is, you cannot dispute this. And these are the red electrons coming out of the... Oops, can you see that? Yeah, coming out of the accelerator, the, the venturi, and they display this. Now, the first one's a little bit compacted this way, and and you get these spikes a little more, I think, than this one. This one's a little squattier, and I don't think you have the same quality of spikes. But it only shows up for a very short time. I believe it's in the transition while it's making its way to, um, to the Higgs. Now, this is... Um, Harvard did this. Now, I don't know what they're trying to prove. I'm not going to talk about their stuff. But it is literally identical to our stuff. Now, and I, ours was first. Now, that is the wave that presents as an impedance against the light because that's through glass. And that's why it's bubbled up in the middle and the, the waves are crushed a little bit because it's just impacting itself harder. Now, this is the green vortex where it's coming out towards us, and it's a, it's a spinning little particle. It's losing power. You can see it's bright, light, less, 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 and this is the field that surrounds it as it comes out. This, uh, this is the green electron. Uh -huh. Let's see, it's, you can't deny this. It's, well, I mean, you can, you can deny whatever you want to deny, but you can't deny that that exists. And that is, a, I would say that's Power, no power, power, no power. What it's doing, flipping, flopping, Taurus, I don't know. I don't know. But I do know that when these concuss, they glow. That's the key. Now, what is it? Push like this and something happens in there and these spikes come up and <laughs> I don't know. I have no clue. I really, it's, it's a perplexing uh, question by any standard. Uh, those are the electrons in their trail, which is much further away from the accelerator than the red. Uh, these are light from stars. It's still pretty interesting. Uh, Renz did this with his thumb. That's the lepton colors all splayed out from a half a venturi. This is a, the other Higgs field, which is from full spectrum light. Uh, what do we got down here? You know, they probably knew about this a bazillion years ago because it sure looks like the same thing to me. And then you got your Cheryenkov, which I showed before. That is the, we use the electron neutrino, electron showers. You saw that. See this high speed voltage of an electron comes in. See all this little crackling there? Well, just what you saw. It, it comes in so fast, nothing can happen. All of a sudden, there's a whole batch of guys laying around here. Boom! They just do that. And they're all flying like, like a bowling ball hit it. Now, these are big things that CERN works with, this Cheryenkov uh, of, of uh, muon neutrinos. Now, we work with what they seem they can't find, is the electron neutrinos. They're quite easy to find, I think, but who knows, I could be wrong. Now, uh, this is the light trails, which they're showing in this new discovery they've made. And uh, this is actually very cool stuff. They're able to see electrons now in their orbitals. And um, I've been working with magnets and magnets. Well, let me show you this right here. Just real quick. Let me take a second. Whoops. Hold on. Now it's done. The, you saw those things. Now, I've been taking magnets and making electrons and orbitals and all that stuff. And then you take this kind of stuff. You put it right on there. You see that? And then you get all this entanglement of electrons. I mean, it is unbelievable. It's very, very cool to work with. And you add one here or there, and you get, like, see these big, darker? But it doesn't have much more potential. If, if you take, I know I'm getting carried away with this, but I can't help it every time I get into this. I, it gets me going. Look at this. Now, on the ends, on the ends is where you have the most power. You watch at the ends. Boom. You see those big black spots? 
that means you got power there. That's gonna that's a, an attached, real serious place. But you see all the interplay, and there's nothing. Right, these are just absolutely cool little toys to play with, and you can have the ferro fluids too within a ferro cell, and uh, then you get some depth, but then you need lights, and you're twisting elect um, uh, light and so forth. This is this gives you the wave uh, function looking uh, stuff, and even like a single a single magnet is really that is the wave function right there of a hydrogen atom. All right. So anyway, that's enough for this kind of stuff. We will talk about this later, and um, it's very interesting that they've just discovered this. Yeah, and you saw what I showed you, and this is what they claim they just discovered. Looks pretty close to me.